Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so, in our last episode we were working on Edo and making sure he was flight capable <laughs> to stop with the shenanigans. Um, he's got two that direction, two... Alright, so we're making progress. Let's see what his production queue looks like. Okay, it looks like they're done with thruster components. Yeah, all right. Uh, production cleared. Where are they? I mean, we're gonna need metal grids regardless because of the heavy floor. Could this be it? Just need a cemento grids and we're done? Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yes, looking good. They're all done. All right, let's, well, <laughs> add a few things. You know, we're gonna go do a few things first. We'll come right back to him. So, um, one thing I wanted to bring up was, uh, buddy from comment last episode, um, Actually, episode before last, he asked, why didn't I put a merge block on this piston to stop it from bouncing? And I don't well, re didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to... Um, how do I phrase this? I, I want this to be modular. I want this to be able to move up and down. Like what I set uh, Dato 2 down on the ground, Dato 2. You know, I was able to lower it down, then cut it free. If we merge it up there, then it's going to not be as modular. But, you got to really go comment, and we're going to add it to the list of uh, things we need to do. Is to uh, have a piston come down with a landing gear on it. So when we need to lower this down, we can just reverse two pistons simultaneously. This one can come down, and this one can go down at the same time. And we can keep a brace so this end piece doesn't bounce up and down so much. So let's go over here and add it to the list. It's a really good idea. Thank you very much for that. Okay, I also want to add um, grinding pit rework, a rebuild. And this one is gonna be Kevin's fault. <laughs> Blame could be a good thing, guys. Don't 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 uh, don't take it, it as a bad thing. And then um, printer arm brace. Oh. All right. So, Izzy's inventory we're not going to do. Uh, we did it on Edo. Doghouses for Mutt we're not going to do. Mutts aren't working. So those are projects we've done. And they've... Dunk. Dunk. Better. Okay. Alright. So let's go back down to Edo. Wanted to get those things on there and give you guys credit for your ideas. So, good looking out. Looks good. Alright. So, first things first. He's going to float a little bit, but he's going to stay put. That's the key part to this.
That's more like it. Now we're more like a hovercraft. All right. So another conversation that was brought up in the last episode. Now see, it looks like he's working. It looks like it's working. So we're going to try it. Turn the wheels off. Yeah, he's working. It's just once he really just clangs out, it, it, he's done. But once he does that, we just got to do that, and we're set. So, uh, Dim Risen, Dim Risen, I believe is how it's pronounced, uh, brought up the fact that it could be the uh, um, weight transfer. So, if we go to inventory and we type in builders, right? There's nothing here. And we type in, oh, cargo storage we have right here, right? We have two of them. We're out of everything, so that's probably why he wasn't clanging out. But hmm, I think we need another assembler. But what he was pointing out is, is that when the steel plates and the metal grids are moving between the cargo containers and the bobs at the rate that we're producing them, the weight transfer could be causing the whole entire thing to clang out. At least that's how I read it. So, alright, so let's get... Alright, let's go ahead and get back into production. Let's kill that. So like right now, if we kill the engines, do we clang out? Oddly, no, it doesn't appear like we're going to. But it didn't happen every time either, so... way all right so we go over here so what I want to do is put a pillar up get docked to that. And boom. So now we can kill. Actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undock real quick, kill the engines, and then redock. Just like super, super quick. Like click, 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 click. There we go. So engines are off. We're in position. Things are being made. Now we need to get. We got to get another uh, assembler up. Right there is good, and right there is actually. We're gonna do two more. I'll put one right here and one right here. Go. 
Alright, let's go make some metal grids. Whoops. Izzy's taking care of it for us. Oh, well, he's going to split up the script for us. Put him in co-op mode for us. Come on. Oh, I was not looking to withdraw thruster components. I don't know what that was about. Come on, buddy. All right, so that's going a lot faster. So inventory production. Are they auto queuing? They're auto queuing. So Izzy's inventory manager is working with Bob. And look at the Bobs go now. Holy cow. So it definitely looks like Izzy's has been upgraded to do auto production. So that's interesting. So this is now basically gone from just a drilling ship to a mobile command production center. All right. Yeah, he's moving production around. That's awesome. All right. So it's working with Bob to bring in everything it needs. And we have enough resources on Edo here to last a very, very long time. So inventory. 24 million iron, 3.6 million nickel, 600,000 cobalt. Yeah, we have a lot of resources. And the gravel separator is still churning away, too. So, gravel. Jeez. 600,000 gravel there. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of resources in here. So... And we don't, we're not even processing stone anymore. So the drills are off. Okay, and let's go ahead and fix that problem. The drills are back on. Now we can leave these guys to work and we can go do other things. All right, Edo, good job, buddy. All right, so actually I want to look at what we got going on here in the way of storage. Um... Oh, forgot I renamed it. Yeah, that's not crazy. What are these resources? Well, we're definitely going to be set to uh, go into orbit, I think. Uh, can we make...
Um, how much stuff do you have in? Oh, that, that could be a problem, huh? Production control panel gravel sifter is off. No, it's on. Is it just full? There we go. A little bit of uh, inventory management here. There we go. Okay. So basically, I want you to craft these things and just not run out of space. I want you to have plenty of the basics in here. Okay, that should do. And so the point of doing that was I was hoping that this blob would start reaching over here. This isn't needed anymore. Bob right here. Okay, there he goes. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Uh, sh we got a few of Bobs down here, so yeah. Well, that's what I was hoping for, is getting all this miscellaneous back here welded up. Okay, so we talked about, or you guys had brought up a few episodes back about putting support pillars and stuff like that in the back sides of the canyon and and whatnot i'm yeah decoration is gonna happen once i get a little bit further into the build um that's i get an idea of what the overall shape is gonna be so let's go like this we're gonna throw down some more blocks back here This is getting attached. Yeah, I can see here now. Let's grab a steel place real quick. Uh, are there any to grab? Would be no. Come on. Give me all your plates. All your plates are belong to me. All right, so inventory. Let's go ahead and set some of this stuff on the deck. There we go. Okay, check my hydrogen bottle count. That was foolish of me. I built where there wasn't. Need to move my mirror, I think. Make sure these are all heavy. Do you have a tendency to hit the wrong button? Basically, I want to have Ado be able to turn around and come back this way and keep working. All right.
And good. How much of this got built over here? Like four blocks. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I need to move the mirror then. Probably to do like something like right here. That's better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Because now he'll be able to turn around and come over here pretty easily. plates from over here because definitely are producing way more over here. <laughs> um, I, I was saying something about plate production. Let's just do it this way. Heavy. There. I was so quiet there for a second. It's like, what's going on? Let's try this again. I could turn the bombs off for a second too, it'd probably help. Oh wait, no, I don't want those. <laughs> I wanted that. <laughs> I just got into a frame of just clicking away. Alright. Six. Alright. Are we building over there? That almost hurt. Okay, yeah, we're good. Then at some point, we'll uh, get all these tunnels and stuff filled in too. This thing's ginormous. I have to subgrade it out eventually because of how many blocks it's becoming. So that's something that was brought up in a uh, live stream yesterday was uh, how much of this is subgrid. Uh, most of the base is actually subgraded. Uh, very few pieces are one grid. Um, entirely intentional to help reduce performance on the game, or performance impact on the game. <laughs> Keeping them together would reduce performance, but. out of blocks here. This is not... Uh, I, I'm, I'm still debating on whether or not 
the speed of this versus the speed of projectors. I do feel like this is actually faster than the projectors because of the mirroring. And the projectors are finicky as far as like how big of a grid I'm making. Because like projectors don't want, or I'm having what, a 10 by 20, I think? And I've laid way more blocks than that in that period of time, so. There we go. the bobs off for a second. Wait, I turned the bobs off. Where's this? Oh, I was probably putting it in containers. back up. So right now, like, these are getting put into the rock over there, so when he does go to go carve out this over on the far side, there'll already be plate underneath it. I heard those wheels moving over there. Stop that. Burn through those steel plates. plate. Everything I just placed was light plate. Alright. <laughs> that means I'm done placing blocks for a minute because I have to go through and tear all this out. And they're going to weld up all this up in here that's going to be all light plate. Where's it at? I can't even see any of it. It's all... Uh... Alright, so this is all heavy at least. I'm going to fire myself for my own project. Oh, yeah. There's some heavy in there too, but... I just, just want to make sure all that light block just got gets torn out. Ugh. Farfing Nugget. Not intentional. Oi. Good job, Havoc. Here I was talking about making sure I do it right. And then what happens? An unknown signal shows up and distracts me. That's what it was. Alright. 
Another thing be kind of nice about this down here is when this gets built, I can uh, I can park things down here. We can grab ourselves a spare day in and just bring them down here and park them down here. Let's bring the mirror point to here. There we go. Not exactly the best place to put it, but um, it's better than where it was. Mm, let's change that to here, actually. Probably use a few different mirror angles, but I mean, I'm not going to be too picky about it because it's just nice having mirroring in survival period, so. Six. They're all heavy, right? Okay. <sighs> Spend so much time just grabbing block four. So I always put my building blocks on four. Alright, here we go. It's interesting, I've not had any contacts in like days. Like, no enemy contacts. I had a junker show up, like, right at the beginning when I started recording, but, uh... Maybe they just learned to stop sending stuff our way that we're just gonna blow it up. It's probably wishful thinking, but... Let's go about here. Do this side. Okay. Okay, looking good over there, right? Yeah, looking good. So we're going to wrap it up here. Let Ado continue doing what he's doing. This is uh, shaping up pretty quick now that we got a, a good groove going. Need to get production chewing back here on the same thing. So production, heavy blocks. So now these guys can start working on this back here while he's working on over there. Appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the channel. Thanks for all the comments and all the help you guys are bringing. Don't forget to leave a comment for the next episode. And hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for being here. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.